The Ages of Man by Henry Howard. I laid in my quiet bed and study was ever, I saw in my troubled head a heap of thoughts appear. I even thought it shows so lively in mine eye, but now I sigh it when I smiled as cause of thought and rise. I saw the little boy and thought of what he did wish of God to escape a rod, a tell young man to be, the young man eke that feels his bones of pain suppressed, and would be a rich old man to live and lie at rest. A rich old man that sees his end drawn so sore, how he would be a boy again to live so much for more. And full oft I smile to see how all these free, from boy to man, from man to boy, would chop and change decree. Amusing was I think the case is very strange, a man from wealth to live and woe, if ever seek to change. Was a thoughtful as I lay, I saw my withered skin, how it doth show my dinted jaws, the flesh was worn so thin, and eke my toothless chaps, the gates of my right way, and hopes and shots as I do speak, to thus unto my say. The white and harsh hairs, messengers of age, which shall like lines of true belief, this life doth as hunch, bits we lay hand and feel them hanging on my chin, which the right to ages pass of her not coming in, hang up wherefore, out of a young wanton time, and woe were well beaten out for happiest life to find. And I sighed and said, I will my wanton joy, further by packing trudge for me to every little boy, and him was for me. The time was heaviest, for the time by treason had to know the truth of wisdom.